Hey kids, it's me, Kit the Explorer, and you're watching Kit Explores, and Miles and I have a big adventure to take you on. We are at an aquarium. Look at those big whales. Oh my gosh, Miles, is that the biggest animal you've ever seen? Did you know that the blue whale is the largest animal on Earth? And that right there is a humpback whale. We're gonna explore all kinds of sea life today. What do you think we go explore? I think we should go explore some animals too. I see an ocean explorer. Come on, let's go. Come on, Miles. Look at this. This is a shark jaw. Do you remember when we visited the museum, the Dino Museum, and we looked at a megalodon? This is a megalodon jaw. It's so big. But right now, we're not gonna explore megalodon. We're gonna go and look at some sea life, like this fish. Miles, should we go look at some fishies? Let's go explore, come on. Ooh, look at all these fish. Did you know that a big group of fish swimming together is called a school? Do you want to wave your hands like a fish with me? It's a school of fish. Blub, 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 blub. Can you do that? Pretend to be a fish. Blub, 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 blub. Let's go inside. Come on. Oh my gosh. Guess what? I see a touch pool. A touch pool is a pool with aquatic life in a museum like this that you can touch. Let's see what we can see. Whoa. Miles is going to touch a starfish. Can you reach way down? Let me help you. <laughs> Don't fall in, Miles. Okay. Touch with two fingers. Whoa. Do you want to touch it again? What does it feel like, Miles? How do you think starfish walk around? How do you think starfish get around? Do they crawl around? Starfish actually get around with hundreds of little legs. These tiny feet, or tube feet, are what the starfish uses to move around. They're also used to feed, and they're also used for oxygen transport to the starfish. You guys, guess what? I see all kinds of fishies. Look at these fish. Can you tell me what color these fish are? What color are these fish, Miles? Do you don't know? What color do you think they are? Can you give it a try? I see some more fish. We're gonna see all kinds of fishies from all over the world that live in the ocean and that live in fresh water. Look at these giant seahorses. Wow. Those are beautiful. What color are those seahorses? What color are they? Black. They're black. Some seahorses like those are really big and others are teeny, teeny, tiny. Just like these seahorses. These seahorses are dwarf seahorses. Can you see how tiny they are? Look, there's one right there, Miles. Do you see him? He's going down, down, down. Seahorses like these use their tails to wrap around grass or twigs or plankton and catch food as it floats by them. Look at those little guys. And also, did you know that with seahorses, the daddies actually carry the babies in their tummy instead of the mommies? Wow, that's a crazy, crazy fact. The daddies actually are the ones that give birth to all the little baby seahorses. The female seahorse lays the eggs and the male seahorse carries them around with him until they're born. What a good dad. 
Wow, that's really cool. And these seahorses are called pot-bellied seahorses because they got a big pot belly. That's pretty cool. Let's go look at some other aquatic life. Oh my gosh, look at this tank. It's full of Nemo's, like from Finding Nemo. Did you know that the type of fish that Nemo is in the movie Finding Nemo is a clownfish? These are all clownfish, and these waving plant-looking things are sea anemones. Clownfish live inside of sea anemones, and clownfish have a layer of slime or mucus covering their bodies, and that slimy mucus protects their bodies from the sting of the anemone. It allows clownfish to live inside of an anemone. An anemone. It allows clownfish to live inside of an anemone and get protection. Can you try to say anemone? Say it with me. Anemone. Anemone. Look at how beautiful their colors are. The sting of a sea anemone can be enough to kill some fish. It doesn't harm the clownfish because of the clownfish's protective mucus layer, but other fish that don't have a protective mucus layer can be stung by a sea anemone, and then the sea anemone eats it for food. Whoa, look at this little guy. This is a strange looking fish called a file fish. Look, he's following my finger. Woo, come here little file fish. Filefish are interesting fish that eat a type of anemone called an Aptasia anemone. And Aptasia anemones are kind of like weeds. We don't really like them. That's what they eat. That's probably why he's in there, to make sure there's no Aptasia anemones in there. Oh, there's a pipefish back there. A pipefish is from the same family as a seahorse. And they look like a little underwater snake. Right now, that pipefish is hanging out in a carpet anemone, which is a different type of anemone than the type that a clownfish lives in. Ooh, I see a giant turtle. I bet we can ride on his back. Come on, let's go hop on the turtle's back. Woohoo! Look at this big sea turtle. The type of sea turtle that this is, is a leatherback sea turtle. And they grow to be really, really big. They spend their entire life in the ocean. The leatherback sea turtle can grow to be up to six feet long, and they're endangered species, which means there's not a lot of leatherback sea turtles left in the wild. And we have to do our part to make sure that the world is a clean, safe place for leatherback sea turtles. What do you think of this leatherback sea turtle, Miles? Are you riding him? Whoa, look at Miles riding the sea turtle. Can you say yeehaw? <laughs> this is my favorite exhibit at the aquarium, the coral reef display. Coral reefs are some of the most diverse and exciting ecosystems on the planet. They're home to hundreds and thousands of creatures and species, like this parrotfish that likes to eat coral, or like this sea turtle who's checking out some divers in the ocean. Sadly, coral reefs around the world are disappearing due to climate change and pollution. Animals like this octopus are losing their place to live. But you can do your part to help coral reefs by carpooling when you can, and by making sure to recycle, and also never ever ever throw plastic into rivers because they'll make their way down to the ocean. Here's a bright blue colorful school of fish, and an interesting looking crab. Coral reefs are beautiful and we need to do our part to protect them and the animals that live there. Now, we're going to take a look at some animals that we can touch again. 
Come here, Miles. Let's go to the touch pool. It's right over here. Let's sneak over. We're gonna touch some stingrays. Whoa! Look at those stingrays in the water. And there's a school of fish. They're so pretty. Oh, and I see horseshoe crabs. Did you know that horseshoe crabs have blue blood instead of red? It's true. It's because horseshoe crabs use copper instead of iron as the transportation molecule for oxygen. That's amazing. Look, when those stingrays swim past us, you can touch them with two fingers. Let's see, there might be some coming over. Come over here, Miles. Oh, look, here they come. Wow. Look, here comes a stingray. I'm gonna touch him. Oh, hi, stingray. Ooh, they're rough and slippery. Always remember to never touch wild animals if you're out in nature. It's okay here because this aquarium takes care of these animals and it's okay to touch them. But animals, even animals like stingrays in the wild can be very dangerous because they have sharp barbs on the end of their tail and they can poke you and sting you, ouch. We have one more thing to take a look at. Sea life that's fierce, sharks. Let's go look at some sharks, come on, let's run. Yeah, sharks, look at that great white shark. Great white sharks can grow to be 20 feet long. Whoa, look at his teeth. And behind you, switch around with me, is a tiger shark. They can grow to be 16 feet long. Whoa. And look at how crazy this shark is. This shark is a zebra shark. And it looks kind of like an alien from outer space, don't you think? There's different kinds of sharks, like black tip reef sharks that we're gonna see in a minute. Hammerhead sharks, cause their head is shaped like a hammer. Let's go see some sharks, Miles. Let's run! I see a place that looks just like the ocean. It's a giant ocean tunnel. And I see schools of fish. Wow. And I see sharks too. And a big stingray right above me. Wow. You know what? I could sit here all day long and watch the sharks swim past and the fishies. They're so peaceful. And guess what I see right behind you? Do you have any guesses? I see a sea turtle. Turn around. There's a sea turtle right there. And she is just resting right there. Here's another sea turtle right here. That sea turtle also has an air bubble in its shell and there's a weight attached to the back of her shell to help her swim. She's such a friendly sea turtle. Look at her swimming around. Let's go look at the sharks. Wow. You guys, desert has something really cool to show us. Come look. What is this desert? So this is a shark skin. Pretty cool because they actually have some really special ways that their shark skin works. If you touch it this way, you guys can even touch it. Whoa. It's all smooth. It is smooth. But then you go the other way, not so smooth. Oh, that's rough like sandpaper. Now, this is called dermal denticles, kind of a long word, but it actually translates to teeth skin. Teeth skin? So, do you have teeth all over your skin? No, you don't. You got hairs, you got little hairs. You got little hairs. You've got teeth in your mouth, though, and I do too. But their skin looks like this. Kind of different from ours. Whoa. So this is a microscopic image. If you were to touch it that way, that's the smooth feeling. But if you go the other way, 
That's kind of the rough feeling that you got. That's amazing. We learned something new. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Kit Explores, where we explored ocean life. It was so good to see you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Is this Megalodon? Oh, it is. The rules are the t of the touch pool are to touch with two fingers like this. Can you put out two fingers like that? And when we touch, let's practice on the rock. You touch them so soft, just like that. Are those so pretty? Wow, can you say hi, Nemo? Hi.